Angela Maxwell and I'm the manager of the Neighbourhood Centre and we'd like to say thank you for coming along and helping to share this remarkable day in our history and in Tweedshire Council's history for this beautiful building to be opened in the manner that it's going to be opened today. I'm part of a very small team of uh, paid employees with the Neighbourhood Centre and <coughs> But I'm also part of a greater team of volunteers that number about 180, I think, at the last count. And the flurry of activity that has occurred in the last few weeks to try and get this building ready for this day has been nothing short of amazing. So um, I think to commence the day's official opening, we've got Auntie Kathleen to perform Welcome to Country. Thank you, Angela, for inviting me here today. And I welcome you all to our beautiful Bunchline country that God has blessed us with. I acknowledge our elders, past and present. It's so wonderful to see this new facility now that the whole neighbourhood will benefit from. So thank you all for coming. Opportunistic, the Foxville Precinct Plan was put out for community consultation from the Tweedshire Council. Uh, that was more or less the trigger that really started this building because we had some funds for a building knowing that we need space, and here was the opportunity when we saw it there was a new building drawn on this in the um, Precinct Plan. We met with the um, Tweedshire Council Plan and Reforms Unit. Uh, community services um, from Twitchire Council Community Services Rep and that was the start of it. There was uh, funding allocated from Section 94 contribution for this building with the contribution from the um, Community Building Grant and um, then also the contribution from the Neighbourhood Centre itself. This was the start of a dream for Pottsville Beach uh, Neighbourhood Centre members and the community, which was going to come true. A uh, contribution from staff, volunteers and community supporters has been absolutely outstanding. Uh, during the many inconveniences, like when this building was being built, uh, our staff and volunteers had to move to temporary accommodation. Everything just still kept continuing. The local builder and his contractors worked in with uh, all of our staff and volunteers, so that, um, it all still kept on happening. Uh, the top, this time really highlighted the partnerships with the Possible Beach Neighbourhood Centre staff and volunteers, the builder, his contractors, project managers from Public Works, um, Tweedshire Council representatives and the community. The minute that the occupation certificate was issued, there was just a flurry of activity. All of the volunteers were just been waiting to get into these underneath sections that we had committed, that they had committed to continue the works. All of this tile you see here, the painting, uh, wall dividers, that was undertaken by volunteers in their own time. It was just incredible. They did all of the turfing, concrete paths, all of what you see out there was done by our volunteers. Uh, we had a look at the, um, the hours and materials and we felt it would have totaled an equivalent $200,000. It's, it's very hard to be able to thank everybody who has contributed and 
Um, I think if you want to see the number of contributions of the people involved, there is the Cotswold Beach um, website, which will list everybody who has had some involvement in this project. Uh, it's not finished here. I think P PBNC will grow from strength to strength. You know, like this has been achieved by the local community in partnership with various government departments. Tweedshire Council really does need a special thanks because of the support that they have given, um, just in the amount of funds that were put towards this building, and the support of the officers. Thank you all for the effort which has brought this for us here today. And that's it for me. <laughs> um, thank you. So now I'd just like to call on our um, Twitchai Council Mayor, Barry Longman, and he can tell you about um, the contributions from Twitchai Council. There you go, Barry. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much uh, for that introduction, Rhonda. Uh, I stand here as the Mayor of the Council and on behalf of Twitchai Councillors at the opening of this, but uh, its history goes well back well before our, uh, our involvement in the Council. So I, I certainly acknowledge that. Uh, the contribution from the Council, as Rhonda I think has said, was some uh, $1.25 million. Um, I congratulate Angela uh, and her management skill, and I certainly acknowledge all of the volunteers uh, that are working through this centre and the services that are provided here. I was fortunate enough last week to come down here and, and do a tour with uh, Angela and uh, meet, meet some of the volunteers and uh, gain some understanding of the wide range of services that they're providing here for, for people in Pottsville and particularly people that might come to Pottsville for the first time. This would be my first port of call. So uh, congratulations to you, uh, Angela, on that. So I guess um, the, I, I need not say too much more. I know Justine and Jeff are to speak. Uh, but uh, I, I congratulate you once again and uh, wish you well in, uh, in, in your future service delivery through this project. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Barry. And uh, thanks, Rhonda, too, for giving a potted history. <laughs> now I'd like to uh, ask Jeff to come up. Jeff Provost, our state member for Tweed. Thank you very much. I always get really, really proud to be here on days like this because I can remember when this wasn't drawn on paper yet and people spoke about it and the countless numbers of hours in, in terms of lobbying uh, that's gone into it and the countless number of people from from governments of all level, from the Tweed Shire Council, from their great staff led by uh, my greater over there and so on. It's uh, it's a Pleasure to see a dream turned into a reality. Beautiful things I think of the Tweed. It's made up of many little villages, different areas, and each one of those has its own particular characters, it has its own particular flavour and direction. But I can say this uh, quite uh, candidly here, the community in Pottsville is, is a very, very strong community. There are young and old people involved in it, and I think it makes Pottsville an extremely special place in the of time and effort. And uh, I, for one, uh, think it's a great pleasure to be here today to see, as I said, a dream into reality. But uh, knowing Angela, knowing Rhonda, knowing many of the other characters here, this is only uh, one step in a long journey. Uh, I wish the community well, and uh, I think the community owes the people involved in this project a, gra a great deal of gratitude and thanks for it. So, thank you very much. Great, and thanks very much for your, for your words of um, support, because um, we can't do it by ourselves. We do need partnerships, and so, on that note, I think I'll call up Justine, the Federal Member for Richmond, because it's uh, funding through FAXIA that allows us to continue those partnerships. Thanks, Justine. Thank you so much, Angela. Look, it's just great to be here today. Can I start by acknowledging the traditional landowners and pay my respects to Elders past and present, particularly Arnie Kath, thank you for the welcome to country. Can I acknowledge our Mayor, Barry Longland, 
Our uh, previous mayor, Max Boyd, who's here, and we know the, the great work that he did in this project and, and so many others. Wonderful to see you today, Max. And our state member, Jeff Provis, as well. Welcome to you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's wonderful to see so many people here today for what truly is a community celebration for a community victory. I know so many of you have worked so hard to see this day come about and this centre opening. And I'd like to congratulate the hard work that I know many of you have put in over so many years. I've always noticed in uh, visiting uh, Cotswold Neighbourhood Centres, every time that I've been here, I've just been overwhelmed firstly by the fantastic array of services you offer, but more importantly the huge number of volunteers that are always here from the local community. And uh, I don't think it really compares to too many other places around the area. I thought Barry and Jeff might agree with me on that. Well, when you, when you do come here, it is overwhelming. And I think there's been hundreds of people over the last couple of years that have volunteered their time. And I think what it shows is the strength of this community and how committed everybody is to work together to make a difference in other people's lives. And that's what all of you do through your volunteering. You're making a difference in individuals' lives and the lives of local families as well and improving their lives. And that's what's great to see, great to see the partnerships that uh, Angela's talking about. to represent staff and volunteers to do the um, cutting of the ribbon. Thank you. 